Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we will be looking at how to build a 9 channel power amplifier. So this is more of a build series. So I will be posting in parts. So I really don't know how many parts it's going to take. Uh, today's video is basically of the parts, the hardware which is required to build a hi-fi 9 channel power amplifier. It can be used in an Atmos system wherein you can separate certain channels and use this for just powering the 9 channel. It does not matter what it is. May it be, you know, center, left, right, anything. Does not matter. This is just a power amplifier. You provide a signal inside and you take the output to the speaker. Simple. So the first, let's first look into the power section. You know, when the power comes in from the mains, what is the AC filter board? Okay, so here it's clearly visible. Okay, so the input AC line comes in here. Okay, the neutral comes in here. And this is the earth. The AC line comes out. Neutral is common. The AC line comes out. So this is used to filter any disturbances in the AC mains because we all know the AC mains which comes in our houses has a lot of fluctuations. We have fans running parallel in the same system. So there might be some infl infiltration of DC. That is the reason this is used. All of the material provider, you know, we are using today is from APY. Okay. Uh, they make really great material. Nothing which I've seen anywhere in India. This is the best I have found. It took me a lot of months to get there, but yeah, this is the best. And I've, I've sourced everything from them. So this is first component. As soon as the main squad comes in, it has to go into this first. Okay, let's set this aside. Next, from the AC filter board, it will go into something called a standby board. So here, this is a standby board. So what a standby board does is, see this is built on a completely different platform. It is controlled by an in integrated circuit. You have ICs here which control the entire function. This is not based on a relay, which you know, you, get, you supply it and then it just uh, triggers in and out. This is not that. This is very heavy. This has its own transformer. Just check the size. It comes with a fuse for protection. Right? So what this does is, so we have AC in and AC out here. Okay, if it's visible, this is AC in and AC out. Yeah, okay, AC in and AC out. So what happens, we take the AC from the filter board and plug it to the input and the output goes to a transformer or tridal EI, anything. So the output goes to the transformer. So this is what controls the outflow of power to the transformer. So this is what does the switching. That's why there's a relay. There's an NTC, if you know what these are. NTC are thermal resistance. So these are here. So anything with NTC, you should know they are high fi right? So in and out for the transformer. Also, there are multiple other sockets here. What these are used for? There's something called trigger. Okay. So here you have a look. So there is trigger. There is pro. Pro means program. Then there is a switch. Then there's an LED. Right. So here this LED is for standby. You've always seen people providing LEDs when the power's on. But this has a standby LED. You can take the power on LED from the pro. Okay. So these two pro and LED can be used for... Uh, you know, they give you 12 volt 0 and 12 DC, okay, minus and plus DC. So you can use them for lights. You can use both of them for on and standby, blue and amber or anything. So trigger, see, there's another part to this board. This is not complete. So this is the other part, right? So this is a trigger board. You have mono jacks here, 3.5 mm. And here is a switch to go between auto and trigger. So if you've noticed in a branded amplifier, you will have something called a 12 volt DC trigger. So the use of that is if you are using external devices, be it a power amplifier, a projector, anything. So that basically sends a signal key when it has it is supposed to be on. Matlab, say suppose if your Marantz is on right now, using a uh, say using a processor, so the Marantz is on. So you want to know when uh, the other devices should turn on, or the other devices must know when they should turn on and when to, when they should go in standby. So you just take a mono jack from there and plug it in here, and this will read the signal. This is just a basic PCB. 
so this gets the input and provides the signal here and then this standby board will send out signal here after four to five seconds after uh, providing all sorts of protection it will output the signal in the out, out pin here to the transformer and after the transformer it goes to the amplification we go in next so these two are apart right <clears throat> this can also be run in auto which means when the signal comes or you turn it in manual uh, it will be on all times it just turns on unless you know you turn off the mains it's going to be on right so this is the part two so from here we go to here okay this is a part of it right that's sorted so now from the transformer from the transformer i don't have it here right now okay so we have something called a power link board that's also from apy just have a look at the quality your copper terminals really thick pcb this can handle crazy amount of power so what this does now what is a power link board okay so basically it's more of a jumper to parallel to make wiring easy and tomorrow if you have to service we can just unplug one amplifier we don't have to go rumble in between multiple amplifiers this is to make life easier and make wiring cleaner it's more or less branded i wouldn't call this assembled this is more or less branded everything is planned this will not go into another amplifier this will only work with their amplifier that's the whole point so you just cannot take one of this part and say i'll use it with another amplifier it's not going to work it is made for a particular amplifier it's a complete set right so this is a power link board so we take the transformer output so here and we are using 30 0 30 so we put 30 0 30 in here and we take it to, you know we just provide one input and rest are all outputs one input all are in parallel ac ground ac all are in parallel so it's just a parallel board okay so from there it goes into this okay next we'll look at some more uh, uh, uh boards here so next we have something called a power supply 0705 okay if you have if you require 5 volt dc output you can take it from here you also require a fan output you can take it from here this is just a rectifier board so you provide it 0 to 0, 07 ac input it will rectify it it also has a regulator ic so it will give you an output from here this is also very great quality never seen something like this in the market it is so compact so small and built for perfection they have done a lot of research into this and in the market there are 101 copies of all of this material i've never seen something like this right so this is just an accessory so let's go to the next one okay next we have something called a active sub pre board so this is not a sub pre which you get in the market which is just small of 80 rupees this is pretty costly okay just look at the number of ic's yeah. there are almost eight of them right so this has individual control for left and right subwoofer levels and also main level input gate okay so this handles frequency from 30 to 250 hertz right this is amazingly built look at the jumper pins here they are thick copper right so here and we have the input we can give ground left input and ground right input signal and here we have the output this runs on plus or minus uh, you know 15 volts dc so to power this you will need another board this is this is just for this this is made for this this is a hi-fi rectifier hi-fi audio grade rectifier not a typical rectifier you get in the market this is hi-fi just look at the number of components to convert ac to dc 12 volts right so you give z uh, 12 0 12 input here gets rectified and then it comes out here right the dc voltage is out here they have resistors to discharge look at the pcb so well built just all hand soldered everything is made by hand inspected several times before it comes out to us right and this is an amazing piece this, it looks so beautiful when you actually have it in your hand this is so asymmetrical i am loving it right so these two are a combo right next next we'll come to the main part which is the amplifier board okay i don't think you've ever seen something like this in the market right this is bulky it has a huge heat sink it's beefy have a look right these are all hand soldered components right the power rating on this is 300 watts at 4 ohms and about 170 to 160 watts at 8 ohms okay 
So this has its own uh, temperature thermal sensor here. So it senses if it's overheating at 90 degrees is the cutoff. It goes into protection and once it cools down, it comes back, right? So let's look at it. Let's have a close up. These are again hand soldered. Nothing, nothing is done by a machine. It's all hand soldered, hand inspected. Everything is so asymmetrical and so perfect, right? Have a look. One of the most beautiful amps I have ever seen made by hand. This is so spectacular. To see in person, it is so asymmetrical. It looks beautiful, right? Right. So the input for this is completely different. I will show you. Okay, so let's go into the plugs here. So you can see there is a four pin plug here. So that one of them is dummy. We use three. That is where we provide an AC input. 3030 AC goes in here and it has the rectification power supply section built into it. There's a bridge rectifier right behind below this. Okay, let me try if I can get it here. Here you can see there's a bridge rectifier in the bottom and then two capacitors, each of 63 volts, 10,000 microfarad. So that's more than sufficient to power this beefy amp, right? So this is part one of this component and then comes the input line of this particular amp. I am pretty sure you've never seen something like this in the market. These have switchable uh, dip style op amps which can be used. So if you wish to upgrade it, see this again, a very good op amp, not available in India, this is imported. All the items here, nothing is off a local market. Everything is imported in bulk quantity to make this all of polyester caps and even the re resistors and everything are 1% or even less than that tolerance level. Okay, so all of these are not available. It's not a 1 rupee or 30 paisa resistor. These are pretty costly stuff. Whatever is used, everything is branded. Nothing is local. And here, this is an XLR board. Nothing ever made by anybody in the market till today. I'm pretty sure somebody will copy this as well. Okay, so... This is an XLR input, also has a, a line level RCA input here. So these are plugs. So this goes back and gets mounted. And this is the board. All sorts of SMD components are here, right? So now here we have a four pin plug which jumps from here to here, direct. So the power is provided from this power section to this as well. You don't have to se separately power this. The power comes from here and goes here. So nothing to worry, it's a plug in play setup. It comes with wires. So the power is only power goes in here, just one wire to this and rest will be handled. This is how it will be mounted and this is the, see this will go to the back. You just have to jump the wires here in between. Say from the top view, you just have to jump the wire. That's it. This is going to be here and it's going to work. The wire for this comes from the power link board. That's it. That's how simple it is. You will, if you have to make a stereo amp, you will need an AC filter board. If you want to use the trigger function, you can use this or you can use a normal standby board or a soft starter. This has a soft starter inbuilt, has a, it has protection here, DC infiltration protection, everything is inbuilt. Okay, everything is into this board, it is a top notch board, nothing ever made in the market. Okay, so AC filter board goes to standby, standby comes with the trigger, from the trigger, from here it goes to a transformer, from a transformer. If you're using two amplifier boards, you will not need this power link board. If you're using at least five, you might need this. Or if you're using three also, it is not required. So from, from the transformer, you can just plug it directly into this. And there's another pin which goes here. It's over. And I'm there is no sort of soldering or I would say minimal soldering just for the speaker output wires which are here inside. If you can, these are the two speaker output wires. Only for that you will have to solder. It's provided so that there is, if when you solder, there will not be any shaking or dangling or loose strands so that, uh, you know, the output is not affected. That's the reason it's mindfully given that for you to solder, it can accept up to 14 gauge multi-strand audio cable and it's very well built, right? So this is how it is. One single channel can be made with literally this much. It can fit into your hand. You can make a compact amplifier with this. Say, suppose you want to do a stereo setup, just add another one. Here you go. That's how simple it is. See, AC, filter board, here you go. Transformer comes in, another board, and then here. This is a single channel input. You need another one. I'll show you. So here we have two. That's how simple it is. This is how simple it is. Life is made easier with APY. 
okay so this is how it gets mounted just see how compact this is right this is how it is just have a look at the measurements right you might add the max required see look at the height okay the height of this board is about say around 5 inches even after you leave all sorts of gaps okay see i'm leaving gaps and even then it is 5 inches the heat sink is pretty beefy have a look nothing ever made in the market this is not a market this is not for market this for somebody who is interested in audio who is looking for something very serious it's not cheap it's very costly these are very hard to get materials everything used is branded have a look this is a neutrix connector pcb mount it's not available in india right have a look the neutrix connectors all used in all sorts of hi fi materials everything nothing is a way it's not a market product for somebody to sell it for 30 to 50 rupees right so this is a basic sketch down of how we we are going to, we are planning to build a nine channel amplifier so how many boards we will need for nine channels is obviously nine so we have one here two just put them together okay we have three Four, another one, five, two boards here, six, seven, and then here you go, eight, nine, nine boards, this is a beefy puppy, right, They're pretty heavy, yeah. it's not so easy to move it, they're pretty heavy, pretty well built a solid material right you will not get all of this in the indian market so easily because everybody knows what happens to material which comes out in the market it's always copied this takes a lot of hard work because i've seen the person who made this he spent hours and hours of his time also with a lot of you know money which goes into spending this and testing these because these components are not available in india not even one of the ic's are available in india it has to be imported, you have to wait, you have to spend money on the transport and everything. So coming down to getting these took a pain, but in the end it, you know, luckily I've gotten hold of all of these stuff. So next will be into the making of the nine channel power amplifier, which nobody has ever done. The first time I'm attempting this and hopefully it works. So the cabinet is in the making. I will definitely show you the nine channel cabinet. It is going to be a rack style cabinet, something little different. So I'll show you the 9 channel uh, cabinet as well. Have a look at my 12 channel board which I've made. Okay. So this is a 12 channel input board. It has the same XLR board behind. I've removed one for you guys to see, which you've just seen. Okay. So again, everything. This is the AC socket, which is again push style. You can remove it as well. Let me show you the AC socket very good quality AC socket. I've just wrapped it in black vinyl. So it looks steady, right? So these are our speak on connectors comes with uh, speak on plugs and you can see all of our Nutrix. Everything is from Nutrix, right? If you see this, who do you say this is assembled? This is branded. This is not assembled, right? It's, it's a brand. If you buy the brand, okay. Look at how beautifully it has been designed by APY to fit. Not even one screw mismatches. Everything fits perfectly. The trigger board is here. So we have trigger here. Right. Have a look. Right. This is a perfect amplifier. So that is a 12 channel power amplifier which I have made. Okay. And now I am making a 9 channel power amplifier. Okay. Wish me luck. All the best. See you guys in the next video. Please watch my other videos as well so that you get an idea of what I'm up to and what you guys can also do. Right? Thank you. Good luck.